Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. About, what, two weeks ago, maybe, I made a video with a little uh, article where we, have a, we had a joint uh, press conference uh, joint between these two guys, uh, Finland and uh, Sweden. You know, the new, we want to be members of NATO, we want to be members, we want to be members. Okay. So they had this little joint conference and uh, they said that uh, we will be okay with, we will be open to have um, nuclear weapons, NATO nuclear weapons, <laughs> American nuclear weapons on our territory. And everybody was like, oh, they, what are we going to do about it? So uh, now Sweden uh, is uh, backpedaling. <laughs> he says, no, 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 we're going back, 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 just like that. And uh, they say, actually, we might not agree. So let's see what these uh, guys are saying now. Now there was a little change of government over there. If you remember, there were some elections. Democracy at work, in action. So these guys who came, uh, the new bosses over there, I think they uh, destroyed the climate change department or environment department. They're upset with the woke things, uh, reversed some stupidities over there, something like that. And the Swedes are yeah, 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 yeah. And you got the uh, infantiles. No, 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 no. Anyway, let's go and uh, see what Sweden is doing now. <laughs> As I said, backpedaling. This article comes from the new voice of Ukraine from um, November 12. See, but today is November 11th. Over there is already morning at 1.06 a.m. They put this over there and that was fast, fast, fast. All right, so Sweden will not join NATO's nuclear deterrent sharing program. What a weasel title. Nuclear deterrent sharing. <laughs> Do you mean trans direct translation? We don't want to have your nuclear weapons on our territory to hit the Russians. Deterrent, sharing, is caring, you know, like uh, STDs, <laughs> sharing is caring. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sweden will opt out, okay, of NATO's nuclear deterrent sharing program and will not host nuclear weapons on its territory after joining the, allies, uh, the alliance according to November 11 report by Reuters. According to Swedish Foreign Minister Tobias Billström, his country is following the lead of its neighbor, northern neighbors, including Finland. Wait a second! And I'm reading further here. Finnish President Sauli Ninisto also ruled out the possibility of deploying nuclear weapons in his country. What's going on here, weasels? I mean, uh, countries? You promised. Pinky promise, you remember? What's going on here? I know I made a video on exactly this together. Yes, we will do this, right? Yeah, yeah. We were like holding hands and strolling, uh, skipping in the park. Boop, 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 boop. And now, no, 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 no. I don't know. We changed our mind. I wonder what changed uh, their... Uh... At the same time, Commander-in-Chief of the Swedish Armed Forces, Forces Mikhail Biden, with a Y, Biden, not lying, uh, if you're going to see it. You see that? Biden must be an... <laughs> recently recommended to the country's government not to set any restrictions specifically on the deployment of nuclear weapons before Sweden becomes a full member of the alliance. Okay, so let me read this again. So this guy, Mikhail Biden, or Biden, I don't know how you would uh, pronounce it in Swed Swedish, uh, recently recommended to the country's government not to set any restrictions specifically on the deployment. So no restrictions. They wanted it before Sweden becomes a full member of the alliance. The accession of Sweden and Finland to NATO has already been ratified by 28 out of 30 
member states and now hinges on the approval of the D, Turkish and Hungarian parliaments. Not a good thing. Hungary, I was about to say, I knew Turkey, but I said who could be the other one, but Hungary. I don't know what, what Hungary problem is on this issue, really. I know uh, Turkey has a little problem with uh, both of them and they're working on it, they said. And Erdogan said, you know, buddy, you bring those, you make those laws, you give us weapons, you lift the sanctions on our uh, weapons industry, and uh, your weapons industry to deliver us, do business with us. Make sure you, um, um, you know, label that certain kind, certain organization as a terrorist organization designated that way. Make sure you do this, make sure you do this, and then maybe we will ratify your accession into the into NATO. Now, I don't know what Hungary's problem is. The first time when I hear that Hungary has a, I don't know, sore ball or something, I don't know what's going on with them. <laughs> it's, uh, but hey, you never know. Uh, maybe they have something to, uh, you know, to get back. And I give you this, you give me this, but I haven't heard. I don't know what could be. They're, they don't have anything economically. They don't have anything uh, militarily. The only thing that I could think is uh, they want something. What is that? I don't know exactly yet, and I will let you know. Uh, what is that? I will let you know because I don't know yet. And uh, maybe it's because they're Putin's friends, and Putin told uh, Orban, "Don't do it. Don't do it." All right. Uh, we'll find out. The thing is that I'm surprised why these guys changed course, or that at least they say we will not have it because. Before they said they're open to have that. And now all of a sudden it's not even open. It's clear closed doors. So, um, well, I don't know. Uh, they will be part of NATO. I have no doubt that at one point they will, uh, they will be part of NATO. Uh, I don't think either Hungary or um, Turkey will uh, single themselves out if you know what I mean. But being two of them, maybe they say, well, we uh, we is not only one, but these guys were the ones that actually played a little bit with uh, Russia, Turkey. Turkey is a uh, an opportunistic country which and leadership, which that's the way you should be as a leader. You look for opportunities to uh, uh, make sure that your population has what it needs. Good. Hungary, it seems the same way. They seem to act independently, which is not on uh, the big boss's liking. Now, if those guys would have wanted to have nuclear weapons, the Russian nuclear weapons would have moved towards them, exactly what they did with Romania. When Romania accepted, accepted. Said, yeah, we're gonna let, uh, let you guys NATO, which is slash United States of America, put uh, rockets, uh, defensive, uh, whatever, air systems in uh, Romania against Iran. <laughs> okay, uh, then Russia said, well, you do that we didn't have he said we didn't have uh, you as a nuclear target so your country your country was not under our uh, how should I put it, tactical uh, nuclear hit now he said you are so good job but Romanians are happy that they are protected by the Americans when the Russians are gonna blow them up and they're gonna say thank you very much uh, America yeah all right. Well, anyway, Weasels. look what's going on in Romania. There are a Belgian uh, military over there, uh, American, French, what else? Uh, I think Brits, everybody's over there. I don't know, uh, the Tower of Babel or something. That's what's going on over there. Sodoma and Gomorrah too. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.